morning today is wednesday may 10th i woke up a while ago but it's really hot in my apartment so i just laid in bed while i waited for the ac to kick in as you can tell by the title today's video is just going to be like a chatty style vlog where i talk about some things that i've been doing recently some life updates ever since exams ended i've sort of just been like i don't know not doing much um, sort of just feels like I've been surviving and not living so I really want to snap myself out of that and get back on track the first thing that I'm going to do this morning is actually go on a little hike slash hot girl walk I've been in Vancouver for eight months now I want to say and I still haven't explored Pacific Spirit Park it's like a large part of land on the west side of the city and apparently there's lots of nice easy trails just for walking this is the one that I'm planning to do I'm gonna not do the tail part so that it's just like a straight loop maybe around five or six kilometers and this app that I'm using I just downloaded yesterday and it's called all trails it's free so I decided to test it out but we're gonna to see how it works today. I feel like sometimes when I wake up, my face is puffy in the morning, so doing this just helps calm that down, and it also feels nice. Normally I do this step after I wash my face because then it's clean and then I'll rinse this off and just put it in the freezer before continuing with the rest of my skincare. Breakfast is served. I showed my matcha recipe a couple videos back and it's remained the same since then. Then I also have some avocado toast on sourdough bread and a fried egg. Um, I got the cute heart-shaped plate from a local Asian grocery store. Okay, we're ready to go. I'm wearing my running outfit with long sleeves and long pants because no tick bites here. I'm carrying my stuff in my everyday belt bag. And I've also got some long socks on. And we're going to wear these like hiking slash trail shoes that I got from Costco a couple years ago. I ended up doing a seven kilometer loop and I didn't even listen to music. I was just like appreciating the sounds of nature on my walk. It was really nice to get some fresh air, see some greenery, think about life. I will say though, I don't think there's a high risk of ticks here. Like the trails are pretty wide and everyone that I saw was like wearing shorts. So this is a bit overkill, but better safe than sorry. Look what just came in the mail. I ordered these shorts that were on sale. There's three pairs in here because one of them is Mina's. What the? These were supposed to be the three inch shorts and for some reason, I got this pair of pants. I guess I'll have to message customer service about that. These two are both five inch. Um, Mina got this blue color. It's called Outer Space Cosmos and I just got it in black. Honestly, I can't really tell if I like them because they're a bit tighter than I was expecting. Um, but I do also want just like a classic black pair of shorts, so... Even though my finals were last month, I'm technically still in school this term. For the month of May, first year students have time to work on a project and there are some scholarly and time commitment requirements, but it is pretty flexible on what you can do. So I ended up going with a project that's remote and self-directed, which is why I have like some more time this month and I can design my own schedule. Right now I'm only maybe like 10% done, so I really want to sit down and just try to do as much as possible this week, weekend, and next week. I'm headed off to Europe at the end of the month and I want to wrap everything up before I leave. So that's what I've been working on recently. And before I get to work today, I wanted to thank Casetify for sponsoring today's video. Casetify is a tech accessory brand known for its global collaborations and protective phone cases. I worked with them a couple of times, so you guys know how much I love the quality and design of their products. Today, I wanted to share the new collection that they recently launched. It's the Push-In Collection. The Push-In cases come in solid colors and you can customize them with different sets of prints. I currently have the Diner Breakfast set on right now but they also have the cottagecore retro west and peace love earth set 
The cases are made out of a soft, flexible material, which makes it really easy to install the pins without sacrificing protection. You can see here, all you have to do is push it into one of the holes and then it's secured in place. And just like all the other cases from Casetify, this one is protective for drops up to four feet, which exceeds military standards. The blank case is meant to act as a canvas for self-expression, so you can mix and match the different pins to create a design that best represents you. If you're interested in learning more, check out the link in the description box to get 15% off your order. Two weeks ago, I just started tutoring math. I go in person, it's not that far of a walk from where I live, and that's what I do on Wednesday evenings. I decided to go stop by TNT and I wanted to pick up this bread. It's their raisin tray bun and it's so good. Um, but then while I was there, I saw this sushi set for $8 and like look at that nigiri. And there was also discounted dim sum. So that's gonna be dinner for tonight. Let's eat. The book of the month is If We Were Villains. One of my goals for this year was to read 15 books. So every month, me and some of my high school friends meet up to discuss a book that we're reading to keep ourselves accountable. This is actually the book for last month because I was behind, but I just started it a couple of days ago and I'm gonna read a couple of chapters tonight before I head off to sleep. Um, but that's pretty much it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I'll be headed off to Europe soon, so stay tuned for the travel content and I'll see you all next week. Bye. Hi.